Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. It's always useful to understand why your dog is exhibiting a certain behavior. For many, it's down to a lack of training, which you'll soon learn how to rectify. However, For other dogs, it could be due to fear or apprehensiveness. They're worried about being punished, especially if your tone of voice is even just slightly angry or annoyed. For some dogs, it could simply be that they're having so much fun and really don't want playtime to be over. They know that if they come over to you, then chances are that the fun and games will stop. Fortunately, even though each of these reasons may be quite different, the steps for changing this behavior and teaching your dog how to come when called every single time are the same. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska, this is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. I'm your host, Michelle Forto, and I'm the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we help owners and their dogs develop a better relationship. On today's talk- podcast, we are talking about why doesn't your dog come when called? something every dog owner should know. Let's get started. It may be amusing at first when your new dog runs away and won't come when called, but that disobedience will get old very quickly. Not only is a lack of recall immensely frustrating, it can also be dangerous. Don't worry, we've got your back. Here's what to do if your dog will not come when called. Choosing a cue word and sticking to a cue word for recall is extremely important. Chances are the cue word that you usually shout has been overused and ignored one too many times. So pick a new cue word. Whether it's come, here, now, or anything else, make sure that everyone else in your household is also aware of the Q word as well as how to use it in the correct way. The Q word should never be said angrily as you don't want your dog to be afraid of it. I'm going to take a little moment and share something with you guys. One client I've had over the years used the most unique word I have ever heard to get her dogs to come when called. I bet you could never guess this word. She would most definitely never be able to say this word with an angry tone of voice. Her cue word for coming when called is pickles. That's right, pickles. What a fabulous cue word, right? So let's go back to recall basics. Whether your dog is a senior who you've had for years or you're trying to train up a new puppy, any dog that will not come when called needs to go back to basics with recall. For starters, this means that your dog should never be given the opportunity to ignore you. Keep a light leash attached to their collars at all times and start by practicing recall in a calm, quiet and distraction-free room of the house. Arm yourself with treats and then stand a few feet away from your dog. Say your cue word and immediately praise and treat when your dog responds. If you end up ignored and your dog will not come when called, give the leash a gentle tug in your direction to encourage them to come. Once they get to you, praise and treat them. Only once your dog comes when called 10 times in a row should you then attempt to move your training into a different room, adding indoor distractions. After you've successfully practiced recall training in different rooms of your home, try adding in distractions, doing this one at a time. 
You want to always set your dog up for success. For example, call your dog over just as someone else walks into the room or throw a ball in the opposite direction while calling your dog. Try calling your dog from the opposite end of the house. Don't pick a distraction that you know your dog won't be able to resist. The more you practice this successfully, the better at recall your dog will be. Taking your training outside. Once your dog is 100% solid on recall, no matter the indoor distraction you add in, you can start practicing this outside. Begin just outside your home, keeping your dog on a leash, like in your backyard. Use the same methods as you did when first starting your training. Once your dog comes each time you call, pick other outdoor locations and do the same. You should also be gradually increasing the distance between you and your dog so that recall is solid, even if you're not nearby. So what should you do if your dog runs away and won't come when called? Pretty serious situation. If you properly follow the steps that I've already gone over, then you'll hopefully never again be in a situation where your dog or puppy won't come when called. However, setbacks happen. And when they do, the most important thing is getting your dog back to you safely. For many owners, their instincts tell them to chase their dog. However, in your dog's eyes, this means that you're just joining in on the fun. So they'll end up running faster. Instead, the most effective strategy is to do something that grabs their attention, whether you jump up and down while squealing or run around in circles, waving your arms, do what you need to do to get your dog to focus on you. As soon as they do, turn and run in the opposite direction. Chances are that they'll start chasing you. Do this for a few seconds before letting them catch you. Whether you're working with an adult dog or your puppy won't come when called, these steps will set you on the path to perfect recall. Of course, this takes time, so don't rush it. Always take things at your dog's pace. All of those little successes will soon build up into a truly reliable dog. So what do you guys think? Did you learn anything new about your canine buddy? Before we end the show, let's press pause for a sec. Maybe ask yourself, why did this resonate with me? And what aspect of my relationship with my canine buddy could I apply this to? And what am I going to do differently this week to make my dog's training a little easier? So take some time to mull it over, talk it out with a family member or trusted friend, put some ideas down in your training journal, and then check back with me next week. And as always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this episode. So reach out over on X at First Paw Media and let's spark a conversation. Until then, keep going. You are doing great. It's time to create the relationship with your dog that you've always dreamed of. Thanks for listening to DogWorks Radio. You can find the show notes for this episode and all others at alaskadogworks.com. And if you know someone in your life who needs help with their dog's training, be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we will see you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media.